Hey kids, welcome back to this week's episode of Kids Zone. Hope you enjoy what we have in store for you. Hey, Parker Bus Kids, being that it's Easter Sunday today, we're gonna sing an Easter song, and it's called God's Not Dead. One, two, ready, and go. God's not dead, no. He is alive, God's not dead, no. He is alive, God's not dead, no. He is alive, and I know he's living in me. Are we feeling it in our hands? We feel it in our feet. We see it in the air. We see him everywhere. And I know he's living in me. Woo, good job, everyone. Social distance. Hey guys, this week we're going to learn another lesson from the Bible. The Bible is God's word, and because it's God's word, there is nothing in the Bible that is not true. So that means that we can believe every single thing that we read in the Bible. This week our lesson comes from the book of Matthew, and we're going to be learning another uh, story about the life of Jesus today. See, Jesus was the Son of God, and not only was he the Son of God, but he was also God himself. And because Jesus was God, he was able to do things that no other man was able to do. As Jesus would travel around, he would do miracles. And these miracles that he would do would be things like healing sick people. If somebody couldn't walk, he would be able to make them walk again. If somebody was blind, he was actually able to heal their sight so that they could see. And not only was he able to do these things, but he also was able to raise people from the dead. There were a couple of times in the Bible when somebody was actually dead and Jesus was able to bring them back to life. And because Jesus could do these miracles and because he was traveling around and he was teaching and he was preaching, there were a lot of people that began to follow Jesus and they would actually uh, form crowds and they would follow him around the country. And so as Jesus was traveling, there were a lot of people that loved him and they would follow him. So as Jesus, as Jesus was traveling, he came to the city of Jerusalem. When he came to the city of Jerusalem, uh, there were a lot of people that were, would meet him out in the streets. They loved him. They were praising him. They were, they were uh, saying Hosanna. They were, um, they were just overjoyed to see Jesus coming to the city of Jerusalem because they were excited about what he might do for them or about, or about what he might teach them. So there were a lot of people that loved seeing Jesus come to the city of Jerusalem, but there were also a lot of people that didn't like Jesus in the city of Jerusalem. A lot of the leaders in the city of Jerusalem actually hated Jesus because of the things that he taught. They hated the fact that Jesus told them that they had a problem. Now what problem did these people have? Well, these people have the same problem that you have and that I have and that every single person on planet Earth has. That problem is called sin. You, you see, sin is anything that you think, say, or do that breaks God's law. Now, where do we find God's law? God's law is found in the Bible. So anything that we do that goes against what the Bible tells us to do is sin. Now that's a problem because that sin um, causes us to have separation from God. It causes us to not be able to go to heaven and to live with God when we die. Sin is anything that we say, think, or do that breaks God's law. Now where do we find God's law? Well, we find God's law in the Bible. So anything that you or I do that goes against what the Bible tells us to do is called sin. And sin is a problem because when we have sin in our lives, the Bible tells us that if we die with sin in our lives, um, sin, okay. The Bible tells us that if we die with sin in our hearts, that we cannot go to heaven to be with God. And if we cannot go to heaven to be with God when we die, the only other alternative is a terrible place called hell. Now, hell isn't a curse word. It is a very real place. And the Bible tells us that no one wants to go to that terrible place called hell. These leaders in the city of Jerusalem, they hated Jesus because he was telling them about this problem. And they actually hated Jesus so much that they decided that they were going to come up with a plan to try to kill him. While Jesus was praying in a garden, soldiers actually came and arrested him. They took him into the city, and the Bible tells us that they brought him before the rulers, and they, 
they made fun of him, they mocked him. The Bible tells us that they, they took whips and they whipped him and, and they spit on him and they put a crown of thorns on his head and they were just really cruel. The Bible tells us that these soldiers, they actually brought him before Pilate and there was a crowd there following them and the crowd was yelling that they needed to kill Jesus, they wanted Jesus dead, they didn't want him uh, to be walking on the streets anymore, they wanted him gone. But you know something? Pilate realized that Jesus was innocent. Pilate knew that Jesus had done nothing wrong. See, Jesus was perfect. He had never sinned one time in his life. He had never done anything wrong, and Pilate knew that. But because Pilate was afraid of all of the people, because he was afraid of what the people would do or say about him, if he didn't listen to them, Pilate told the soldiers to take him out of the city and to kill Jesus. So even though Jesus did nothing wrong, the soldiers dragged him out of the city and they nailed him to a cross. But they actually put nails through his hands and through his feet and they hung him on the cross. And that was a way that they killed people back then. And they actually hung Jesus in between two thieves. Now these two thieves, they had actually committed crimes. They actually deserved to die on the cross. But did Jesus deserve to die on the cross? No, he didn't. Jesus was the perfect son of God. He had never done anything wrong. Now this is a sad story. Why would God allow Jesus to be killed on the cross like that? But you see, that's not the end of the story. The Bible tells us that three days later, some women came to visit the tomb and the stone was actually rolled away. The tomb was empty. Jesus was gone. Jesus Christ had risen from the dead. And the tomb was empty because Jesus was living again. He is actually alive today. That is why we celebrate Easter. Jesus is alive. He is our risen Savior. He died on the cross and rose again because he loves you. He took the punishment for our sin so that when we die, we can be with him in heaven. Isn't it amazing how God gave us the gift of his son to pay for our sin problem? If you'd like to learn more about how to accept this gift of salvation, please comment on this video or reach out to us at Fargo Baptist Church. This week's movie verse is at 1631. And they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved in thy house. All right, so this song is the easiest one you'll learn ever. It's only got like four words, I think. But anyways, the song just goes, I'm a Christian and I have Christ in my heart and I will live eternally. Easy enough? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot one thing. You have to spell it, the whole thing. <laughs> you ready? Yep. All right, we'll start nice and slow. We'll probably sing like three times. And uh, we'll see how fast we get going by the end. You know it, right? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Me, I am a C. I am a C H. I am a C H R I S C I A N. And I have C H R I S C in my H E A R T. And I will L I D D C R N A L O R. Good job. Should we go a little faster? Yes, of course. And how about we go up a key as well? Make a challenge. Here we go. I got it. I am a C. And up one more time? Sure. Oh no. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, it is rough. But hey, isn't there a verse that talks about this, Jesse? Right, I think there is. Oh yeah, Psalm 56.3. It says, what time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. Yeah. So we're afraid right now, right? We want to see our kids, we miss them. But the Lord's going to work it out. He's going to heal these people from this, this corona, and we're going to see our kids soon. Amen. Hope so. Yeah. Hey kids, catch you on the flippity flip here on Giggle! Bye! Bye.